What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at 10 programs that you must have which are free to download right now. So let's take a look at the 10 I've chosen. Now there's loads of other programs you can use but these are a, pretty much a good mix of programs which you can be using right now for free on your computer. So we're on a Windows 10 machine here and the first one we're going to be taking a look at is Handbrake. Now Handbrake has been around for quite a long time but the good thing about Handbrake is it allows you to uh, rip uh, DVDs uh, if you own those DVDs. It also allows you to uh, convert files, uh, compress uh, video files down to a smaller size and all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm on a virtual machine here so it is running a bit slow. But as you can see here this is uh, Handbrake itself and uh, it is free to download but it is a very very powerful tool you can convert files from one type of uh, extension to another as well and you can also as I said rip down uh, files to whatever you like and you can see here a big long list of uh, types of files that you can uh, rip down to different sizes so for instance if you wanted to put them onto uh, some sort of a phone or something like that you can rip them down to a smaller size as well so this is an awesome program uh, for that particular type of thing and if you want to see more on this then let me know in the comment section below so that's the first program the second program we're going to look at is Dashlane now Dashlane is a program which you can use uh, to store all your passwords now we know today in the world of uh, storing passwords people write them on pieces of paper and also uh, just can't remember passwords but the good thing about Dashlane is it also allows you to store all your information encrypted in here and uh, it's a pretty decent bit of kit it really is now there's loads of other types out there like LastPass and some other ones out there but this one is probably uh, the pick of the bunch if you asked in my opinion and again you can just set this up you just go on the tour here and also you can see your passwords will all be listed here inside this area and of course you can add a new password and uh, you can do password changer you can do uh, types of passwords for like one-time only passwords which are for junk sort of sites and stuff like that you can also uh, do personal information here payments and IDs and stuff like that and it's pretty secure as well and you can keep track of everything here as well which is really really useful and if you want to see something on this uh, let me know in the comment section below whether you want to see a video on that as well now third uh, program that we're going to talk about is Audacity now you've seen me talk about and show you Audacity before and Audacity has been around for a very long time and this program is an essential bit of kit if you want to edit audio take out any sort of hissing noises or you want to get better bassier audio and it's a free program that they download and it's a must-have bit of kit uh, for any sort of PC so I'm not going to spend too much time going through this you have seen me make videos on this so you can watch those videos I'll try and leave some video cards above here so you can click on those and watch them now also another piece of kit which is pretty useful nowadays is this media player now it's called media uh, player classic now this compared to VLC is uh, is right up there I personally think that the quality on the video for a uh, media player classic is a lot better than uh, VLC now you can do quite a lot with VLC um, as well uh, more so I think with VLC than you can with this but this is a really good sort of player so sometimes you have to use what you've got to your power and the uh, media player classic is my personal opinion for playing uh, types of movies and if you put a comparison uh, with media player classic uh, and VLC and see the video quality you'll see this has much more um, vibrant colors and a much more sharper picture and this is another free program you can download it's called media player classic I will leave all the video uh, it, all the links in the video description for you so the next program I want to talk about is ever I always hear people talking about WinRAR and WinRAR was really big back in the day but this program is surpassed WinRAR in my personal opinion and it's called 7-Zip. It's a free program to download and this allows you to add and extract files and compress files down to a really super duper uh, sort, of, uh, sort of limit. You know, so you can compress a file down so small that it becomes so small to distribute uh, on 
on the internet and stuff like that. Now there is difference differences in types of media that you are going to compress and it will compress in a different sort of format. So for instance, if you've got a video that you're trying to compress down to a very small size, you may have a bit of difficulty uh, doing that to a real small uh, type size. Whereas if you had a text document, you could crunch that down to virtually nothing and it could be hundreds of megabytes in size and it will be just like kilobytes uh, once you crunch that down. And that's 7-Zip. That's a free program you can download and you should be using this rather than WinRAR right now. Another one that we're going to be talking about, which you've seen me use before, which is called Search Everything. Now, Search Everything is uh, basically a program that allows you to search everything on your computer. And this is a really must-have tool, especially if you're using Windows 10 nowadays and you've disabled Cortana. Now, Cortana is still running on this virtual machine, but on my main machine, I've completely shut down Cortana altogether. And, of course, that does restrict the search a little bit, but uh, with the everything, it gives you a lot uh, more usability and, and stuff like that on your computer. And you can find stuff very, very quickly inside here. So I think all everything uh, search uh, program it's a much better program than the average uh, Windows search here and it's a lot more faster as well so this is another recommendation it's a free tool to download and you've seen me use this to root out malware as well and stuff like that and it's pretty decent at uh, using as an uninstaller so I uninstall a program and I would also do searches for that program inside here and it will find all the folders and uh, stuff that's related to that particular program once it's been uninstalled and I'll just delete the rest of that stuff and it's really really useful just be very careful when using this because you don't want to delete uh, system files or anything like that because it will uh, render the system unbootable so that is search everything another one which is another essential bit of kit uh, in my personal opinion is called space sniffer now space sniffer has been around and there's a few of these out on the market and uh, basically you can start this up as you can see here and it will start to uh, search your system for space uh, what's been used and uh, it's a really useful tool uh, to root out uh, files that are hogging up your system so for instance if you've got a small hard drive like an SSD or something like that that's uh, full up to the max and you don't know where uh, you've got files uh, hiding then you can use space sniffer to actually find those files for you so you can see here what it's doing is it's given me a big area here so downloads these bigger areas are where all the data is being stored you can see app data is 1.4 gigabytes downloads 1 gigabytes and so on and all you need to do is click on this and it will tell you what's in there and you can actually remove these files and it will search the whole system and it's a really great tool, especially when you've got a system that is a, a couple of years old but hasn't been formatted. And there'll be files hidden everywhere and you can root out those files and uh, delete them and clean up, clean up some of that uh, space for yourself. So that is a space sniff, a pretty decent uh, bit of kit. And there's loads of other tools that do a similar thing to this. So you can see my videos on those as well. And I've made videos on these, but this space sniff is pretty decent as well. And of course it is free so another one that we're going to take a look at as well which is called a pixelar editor now this is a replica of photoshop but it is free and uh, we we've seen gimp and stuff like that so if you see this here you can uh, create a picture or whatever you want to document and you can see it's got everything the same as uh, Photoshop has but this is free and it works via the browser and it's a pretty awesome bit of kit it really is uh, for quickly editing photos and stuff like that and if you want to do some uh, work on here you can do you can see we have some uh, other tools here now the tools on here are very very similar to as I said uh, Photoshop and you can see you've got clone stamp tool and stuff like that so you've got all your normal tools that you would get inside Photoshop now again this is probably not as powerful as Photoshop but Photoshop does cost money unless obviously you're using it as a pirated version uh, which I wouldn't recommend but you can see here this is a free option and of course you've got GIMP and other ones like that as well but this one is probably pick of the bunch out there uh, for the free option for photo editing and stuff like that and that's called Pixlr at pixlr.com 
Now another one which I wanted to cover in this video which is called uh, WPS. Now WPS has been around for a while and uh, this is an office sort of alternative so if you can't afford Microsoft Office then you can use uh, WPS and so you can see here we have the writer and uh, this is basically Word and you can see it's called uh, Office uh, 2016 here but it's the uh, WPS version and of course uh, you do get a few ads in here and that's because it's free and they do a premium version as well which will uh, get rid of these but basically this gives you some really good options to create documents uh, professional documents just like you would inside Microsoft Office and you can see here if I click on this this will open up this document and this allow you to add in whatever you like and change the text just as you would do in Microsoft Office and stuff like that and this is pretty decent so I mean you're getting some really good uh, beautiful uh, Word documents here that you can uh, mess around with letters as you can see memos you get all the templates just like you would in Microsoft Office except this is for free and you can use it as I said here you can just download this file and then open that file up inside your WPS uh, Word uh, editor and then this will allow you to uh, edit those documents and uh, it's a bit slow because uh, I'm on a virtual machine let me just try this one and see if this opens up a bit better there you go now of course these will work out much better than what they look on the screen here uh, but as you can see pretty decent and this is a word document you also have a WPS pre uh, presentation just like you would inside office and I'm just going to let that little advert tick down and you just click on skip and now you have you do have this advert here but it's not a big intrusive problem and uh, you can use these for all your presentations and stuff like that just as you would in uh, Microsoft Office and of course you have your obviously WPS as you can see again you just have to let this uh, you can upgrade to the ad free one if that's what you want to do and it's not that much money uh, but if you want to use the free one you're going to have to have the adverts there but again very very useful very powerful piece of a kit as you can see here so that's definitely going on my uh, must have better kits for free programs and the last and final one is called DaVinci Resolve now DaVinci Resolve is a video editing software which is really really decent and uh, it's free and you can download it and you can do all your video editing uh, via this piece of software and uh, these are all pretty much uh, free programs and as I said some of them have one of them's got adverts in it which is the WPS but as you can see this is just as good as any other video editing software out there it's slightly different to the way you have to do things but once you learn it it is free and again it will give you all the power you need to uh, edit those videos and I've tried to uh, give you an array of programs which you would essentially need on any sort of computer and they're all free so that is my top 10 must have free programs uh, for 2017 I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk anyway that's a pretty much it for this video have a nice weekend and I shall see you again for another video soon bye for now